What's happening? How are you? I am Coach Megan, and I'm here at my best friend's gym, National Gymnastics Training Center. So really quickly, I'm gonna just show you what I do with my grips, how I do the whole situation. So I'm a little bit strange, as you probably know. <laughs> So I like to double up my wristbands. One, I like the thicker one first. Doo -doo -doo. And there's so many different ways that people like to do their grips. Some people, after they have their grips on, they'll actually tape around the grip so it doesn't move. Or they'll tape under the wristbands. It's kind of like whatever floats your boat. And then what I do, I take these two foams and I stick them in the wristband because then my grip doesn't slide up past because without this then it slides all the way up and then the dowel this thing this is called the dowel then it doesn't even do anything it's like why am i even wearing grips i know it's hard to understand it's, this whole thing is very confusing but you do get the hang of it so then i go ahead and put my grip on and remember, you always want these silver things on the outside where your thumb is. And then I kind of fold down my hand and then I make sure it's straight so it's not all twisted and then I really give it a good yank. Yank that grip. Okay, voila. And you want to make sure you have the right size. I think I usually get a two. So if your hand's a little smaller, maybe a one. My hand's about this big, but you can't really tell because I'm in the in the computer. So yeah, to, to try your friends, see what feels good for you. Wow. So that's how I put them on, and to break them in, you can see this uh, metal thing here. This is a great tool. So what you do is you take it and you just go like that, do do do, like you're you know washing something but you're not you're you know making this rough because the rougher it gets the easier it is for your bar stuff and if your holes start to stretch out too much see how I put tape you can just tape the holes so that they stay on your finger because before it was just slipping out but then you just tape it there you go and now this is how i water my my grips back in the day we used to hawk a loogie that's just really gross so maybe you know if you got to do it you got to do it but the water bottle works much easier Give it a little squirty squirt. Oh, I don't like when that stream is so streamy. Not too much water though, or you slip right off. Then I kind of take my finger, I go like that. Like I'm making a cake or something, but I'm not. And then I like to grab, some people like the solid and they'll do it. I like to grab the powder with a little bit of chunks and then I kind of make it snow. Ooh, snowflakes. And then I, take my index finger and I kind of go like that. Drizzle, snow time. Can't wait to go snowboarding this year. And then I like to chop the inside of my hands. See? Now I am all ready to go down the mountain. Nope, I mean to jump on the bars. And there you have it. And before I go, I just kind of like to pull it down and then what you can also do, I'll just kind of hang my dowel over the bar just one time like this. Because now when I do all my, all my tricks, sometimes if it's too tight, it's too stretched out, then it's not going over the bar enough. And then this dowel is a hang, because you want this, you want it to really be hanging over the bar so you get a good grip. Because if it's like there, it's not really gonna work. Okay, and there you have it. This is how to put your grips on and what to do with these things. Thank you, Mr. Grip Man, for inventing them. And as always, your end of the video trick. I'll do my little doop dee doo. See you later. Oh, and I have lots of
lots of other videos. Please subscribe. I'll see you around.